Conor McGregor versus Michael Chandler. It's going down at UFC 303 on June 29th. In today's video, we have some side-by-side -side training footage coming from both fighters. Let's get straight into it. <laughs> So we know in the past, Conor McGregor has beaten similar fighters to Michael Chandler, like Chad Mendez and Eddie Alvarez, short, stocky wrestlers. Conor McGregor always beats these guys because Conor's just a better boxer than they are. When they're standing on their feet, Conor has the advantage. But with Conor McGregor coming off of a career ending injury, I don't know if that's the case anymore, especially because we haven't seen Connor, you know, fight in quite some time. And in his previous fights versus Dustin Poirier, Dustin was outboxing him. You know, I don't care if you're a Connor fan, if, if you don't like Dustin, Dustin Poirier was outboxing Connor McGregor. <laughs> And Michael Chandler has also been extremely active. You know, he's he's been fighting a lot in the UFC and he's also always in the gym. If you follow this man on social media, you know what I'm talking about. Now, Conor McGregor, on the other hand, you know, it looks like he's always partying. Of course, he owns a club or a bar, so he's always at the bar drinking and eating and, you know, to me, he just doesn't strike me as being as disciplined as Michael Chandler. Of course, Conor McGregor's return to the Octagon has been filled with plenty of delays, but finally, finally, Dana White gave us a date, June 29th, UFC 303. I mean, we've been waiting for this fight to be announced for quite some time now. Yes! 
Now going into this fight, if you're Michael Chandler, I think you have to feel good knowing that Conor McGregor has been sitting on the sideline. He's gonna have ring rust, octagon rust, whatever you wanna call it. Not to mention, once again, every time you see Conor McGregor, he's out partying or doing something that isn't related to fighting. Michael Chandler, on the other hand, totally disciplined, and I know he's feeling good going into this fight because he's had a lot of time to train because this fight has been delayed so many times. <laughs> You know, it is unfortunate because if Conor McGregor loses this fight, I think he retires. I don't really know what's next for Conor if he loses. And currently right now, I'm 50-50. I think it's, I'm, I'm right down the middle. I think this is a risky fight for Conor. And if I was managing Conor, I probably would not tell him to fight Michael Chandler for his return fight coming off of back-to-back -back losses and a career-ending injury. You know, whoever said, yeah, let's let's get you in there with Michael Chandler, who's extremely explosive, who's extremely active. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if this is really the smartest fight for Conor McGregor, but props to him for stepping up and accepting this challenge because that's what this fight is, a challenge. <laughs> Anyways guys, once again, June 29th, leave your predictions in the comment section down below. Are you going with McGregor or are you going with Chandler? And how do you think this fight is gonna play out? Anyways guys, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already, and YouTube thinks you'll enjoy this video next.